and death. Nonsense, Blackadder. I don't think there's a, a jury in England that would bring in a verdict of guilty against me. Your Majesty, the verdict of the jury. So, what does it say? Uh, guilty or not guilty? I'll give you two guesses. <laughs> not guilty. One more guess. <laughs> One measly civil war in the entire history of England, and I'm on the wrong bloody side. <laughs> Something wrong, sir? Yes, Baldrick, yes, there is. Don't you realize if the king dies, we royalists are doomed? We will enter a hideous age of puritanism. They'll close all the theatres. Lace handkerchiefs for men will be illegal. <laughs> and I won't be able to find a friendly face to sit on this side of Boulogne. <laughs> If they so much as suspect our loyalties, our property will be forfeit and we'll be for the chop. Oh, I love chops. <laughs> Maulrick, your brain is like the four-headed, man-eating, haddock fish beast of Aberdeen. In what way? It doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, God, what are we going to do? Don't despair, sir. Something will pop up. Not under Puritanism, it won't. We must do something. We must do something, otherwise the black adders are as doomed as that ant. What ant? That one. So this is the day of the execution of Charles I? Absolutely not, Your Majesty. Those roundhead traitors have one final hurdle that they will never straddle. How fascinating. And what is that exactly? They will never find a man to behead you. They'd have hundreds of volunteers to cut Cromwell's head off. He's such an ugly devil. He's, he's got so many warts on his face, it's only when he sneezes that you find out which one is his nose. <laughs> but they will never find a man to execute you. Well, you see, I find that absolutely tragic. You know, there are so many young people who would leap at a chance like this. You know, they, all they need is the initiative somehow. Uh, I suppose, in a sense, that's what my ward scheme is all about. Really? Yes. On the other hand, of course, I don't want my head cut off. Uh, it's a question of balance, isn't it? Like so many things. Shut up with the greatest respect, Your Majesty. <laughs> they will never find an executioner. And if they do, may my conjugal dipstick turn into a tennis racket. <laughs> a message for the king. Everyone's life in utter ruins without being serenaded by a moron with all the entertainment value of a tap dancing oyster. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I can't help it. See, I've just had a little windfall. Well, Rick, I've told you before, if you're going to do that, go into the garden. <laughs> I mean, I've come into some money. Really? Family inheritance? No, I ate that ages ago. <laughs> yes, of course. Your thoughtful father bequeathed you a turnip. <laughs> No, it was 50 pounds, actually. It was delicious. But this is just a little something that fell in my lap. Not the first time that there's been a little something in your lap, Borrego. <laughs> no, but this one is a job. Really? I just don't...